Are you having trouble keeping your tweets under 140 characters or less? Well, I have good news for you, because there's a free, easy-to-use service that can not only drastically reduce the number of characters in your URLs, but also provide you with analytics so you can see who's clicking on your links. Stay tuned for How to Use Bitly, a Beginner's Guide to Bitlinks. Bitly is a free online service that allows you to take any web link and provide you with an alternate, short URL that you can share and track its stats. Bitly really shines when you have a really long URL and it's taking up a lot of character counts, especially if you're using something like Twitter that has a limited number of character counts. You can only use 140 characters, so the shorter a URL link, the better. Let's hop on over to the Bitly website at bitly.com. I have already signed up for a free account for this tutorial. It is a simple process that takes just a couple minutes. You will need to pick a username that uses letters and numbers only, an email address, and a password. You'll then be redirected to the screen that I am on right now. The user interface is pretty straightforward. You'll see at the top of the screen it says, paste a long URL here to shorten. Let's go ahead and give it a go. I have a long URL and I'm going to paste it into that dialog box now. So if I go over to the website that I have, I have a, a blog post here, and blog posts tend to have long URLs because they have the date and the title of the post. So we're going to copy that, and then go back over to Bitly and paste it in the box. After you paste your URL, you will see to the right of the screen a modal pop-up that shows the details of your new link. This is referred to as a BitLink. From here, you can copy the new URL and share it wherever you'd like. If you click the Customize box, you can change the end of the URL from the slew of letters and numbers into something easier to remember. For instance, since the link I pasted is from Skyberry's blog for the Buzzed Gaming Brand Identity Project, I might change the link to Buzzed Brand. So now my shortened URL will be bit.ly slash Buzzed Brand. So we'll hit Save, and you can see up here it changed it to bit.ly slash Buzzed Brand. Let's exit this screen by hitting the X in the top right corner and refresh the page. Now you can see the newly created bitlink was saved here under your bitlinks. This list will continue to grow as you save URLs and can be referred back to at any time. When you click on any of your previously created bitlinks, you are presented with an overview of that bitlink's stats, such as how many clicks that link has received. In addition to the title, the original long URL, and the date it was created, you can also copy the bitlink from here to share. You also have a few other options. At the top of the screen, you will see three blue icons. The first one is the share icon. You can share bitlinks directly from Bitly to your Twitter and Facebook accounts or by email. You will need to verify your email address and connect the social media accounts to access these features. The second one is the edit icon. From here, you can customize the bitlink, change the title of the bitlink, add the link to a bundle, and add a note to yourself about the link. You can also specify if you want the link to be shown in your public profile or to be hidden. The third one is the archive icon. If you click this icon, it will move your bitlink to the archive section. This is useful if you want to clean up your bitlinks list and remove bitlinks from view that you don't use often or don't need to keep track of. You will see if we click archive, it disappears and our list appears empty once again. If you hit this by accident or want to bring the link back, Click Filter, and check Only Archived, and then hit Apply. Now you'll see your list of archived bitlinks. If you click the Archive icon again, it will unarchive the bitlink and return it to your bitlinks list. Let's hit X on the filter, and it'll return us to our list, and there it is the Buzz Gaming Brand Identity and Web Design Bitlink. There are also some other menu options here on the left side of the screen. Let's take a quick look now at some of those options. If you click Bundles, here you will be able to see the bundles you've created. Creating a new bundle is quick and easy and can be treated like creating a new folder, allowing you to organize your bitlinks. You simply need to give it a title, a description, and then you'll create your bundle. If you click Stats, here you'll be able to really drill down into your bitlinks and see total clicks, total saves, and other information about each one of your specific bitlinks. If you click your network, this is where you'll be able to see what links your friends are sharing via Bitly. You'll need to connect to Twitter or Facebook to activate this feature. 
And that is the beginner's guide to using Bitly. Sign up for a free account today and you can shorten long URLs, organize your saved Bitlinks into bundles, have access to your Bitlink stats, and see what your friends are sharing all in one place. If you have a question or topic you'd like to know more about, please leave a comment below and it may be featured in next week's video. You can find us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Skyberry Studio. You can also find us on our website at skyberrystudio.com. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you again next week for another Quick Tip Tuesdays.